Hey y'all, it's Maker Monday and today you need yarn, scissors, googly eyes, pipe cleaners, felt, and glue. Now the pipe cleaners and the felt are pretty optional. The googly eyes I would strongly recommend. Say hello to our friend Sam. Say hello, Sam. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. Say hello if you can hear me and us and we, <laughs> as they say, you know, as people are always like, I can hear we. <laughs> uh, today is Maker Monday. We're making up for last week because there was a, a worldwide Facebook outage last week. So we didn't get to make anything with you. So what we are making today, can you sort of tell what's happening with this guy? So this is a pom-pom, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a pom-pom monster. Now my dear friend Sam here is working on a different project because we're just trying to keep things fresh and interesting at Maker Monday this week. Actually, because we weren't planning on doing this this week, we were planning on doing this last week. So this week, Sam is making a pumpkin. This isn't technically a pumpkin, it's a squash. And he's use, he's doing that for our pumpkin decorating contest. So he has a round pumpkin and he has an oblong pumpkin. And he's going to paint two book characters on those pumpkins. You'll have so, to watch and find out. Yeah, you'll have to see. I'm sure we won't be finished with that by the time uh, Maker Monday is over, but it'll be fun anyway. So to start with a pom-pom, and I'm just gonna switch to only this camera so that you can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully you can see this. So to make a pom-pom, oh goodness, this one's got dog hair all in it. Y'all see that? Okay, so what you need is yarn, okay? So I'm taking my yarn and I'm gonna move my sheet that tells you what you need because it's sort of getting in the way. So I'm going to take my yarn and I'm going to have a little bit of a tail here and I'm going to wrap it around four fingers and I'm not going to wrap it too tight because if you wrap it too tight then you'll end up wrapping your fingers really tightly so let's see we're just going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it and the thing about making a pom-pom you can use a guide they do make guides online and they make little uh, little things that you can buy at the store, but you can also just use your fingers for it. I'm sorry if I'm making you motion sick. I'm going to try to just wrap the yarn instead of wrapping my fingers to make it a little bit easier on everybody's bellies. But what you're going to do is you're going to just keep wrapping and wrapping. I've got my um, yarn stuck here. So let me... Well, that's not going to work. There we go. So we're just going to keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. <laughs> I'm trying to untangle our wraps. Let's see, I'm switching hands here because my wrap got tangled there. Okay. And until you feel like you have wrapped your hand forever and then keep going about five more minutes, really. It's, it's a lot of wrapping is what I'm trying to tell you. It keeps getting tangled up. That's weird. It is weird. It's sort of frustrating. So you need some paint? Yeah. And some... Woo! All right, well, let me know if I can help you. I think you got it. Art move. Okay, so we're just wrapping. We're still wrapping. Paints. Still wrapping. Which one do wrapping. I do? Um, well that one says stuffed paint. Yeah. So pull out that that one probably. This the one? red one. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should have started at the other end. I don't know. This this yarn is very tangled. Okay, so I'm still wrapping 
and you can see it's getting pretty thick here. I'm gonna keep wrapping. Well, I also think I need the same valve for paper. Oh, the palette. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and see, I'm starting to get my fingers really tight. I told you all about that earlier. You got to be careful about getting your fingers really tight. So I'm wrapping. <laughs> I'm making a smiley face. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you can barely see my fingers at this point. They're getting really tight. They're starting to um, tense up. So now what I'm going to do so I'm gonna do my final, let's say five wraps. What's black? And that red one. You need to start with your base color, Sam. Don't start with black. Black will be your final color that you put on there. This color? I mean, they're not, okay. I'll let you do it. I'm not gonna worry about it. It's your your thing okay so now I did say five and I went a long time so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out about a foot of extra yarn so all right and I needed my scissors for that so now I'm going to take it off my fingers and I'm going to take this piece of yarn and I'm going to wrap it here in the middle. I'm gonna wrap it tight and it needs to be right in the middle. So I'm actually gonna lay it down so I can see where the middle is a little better. So there is the middle, I'm gonna wrap it tight. And then I'm gonna tuck it under. Oh, actually I'm gonna cut that piece as a totally separate piece. Whoop. My scissors have gotten a little wiggly. That's not good. So, Sam, are you going to sketch out what you're doing or are you just going to go for it? Seems like you're just going for it. Yeah. Okay, well, do you have like, you have a plan? Um, yeah. Cause I don't want you, and you're wearing nice clothes. So I don't want you to get paint. I wasn't prepared for you to get paint out already. You need to change into painting clothes, please. And don't, don't get paint on me. <laughs> the lovely sounds of the okay so what I'm not telling you I'm sorry I got distracted so you're gonna wrap it really tight here in the middle and you're gonna tie it and I, then I flipped it over and I wrapped it tight around the middle and I tied it again so I've done this now about three times just to really get it nice and tight there in the middle and now I'm going to take my scissors which have hopefully gotten rid of their wiggliness they're still pretty wiggly. I don't know what's happened to them. And then I'm going to just slowly cut the yarn. And I'm going to cut it right down the middle. And I'm just going to do a couple yarn pieces at a time. All right, let's find a new place to lay down. Come on, move. That is where all our supplies are. Come on, let's find a new place. Oh yeah, there's the black. black. Okay, so I'm cutting, I'm cutting. Is black considered black? That's just the name of the company, but that's not exactly right. I don't know what that is in reference to. What do you think it means? Mm. So we're just cutting here in the middle of the loop. That's what I'm doing. And we're making pom-pom monsters cutting right here in the middle. Oh, let's not, let's not get that, all that paint out because you have to let it dry. I not have to pay attention to you and also myself. Where's the brush? Okay. It's okay. So I need this. I'm trying to find any loops that I've missed here. 
loops. Okay, there's another loop there. All right, and a loop. Okay. And now we just sort of shake it out and see, I've got half a pom-pom there. He's pretty cute. I'm excited about it. Now on this side, oh, thanks, Sam. <laughs> on this side, I'm going to do the same exact thing. So cut it right in the middle of the loop. Cut it, cut it, cut it. You're gonna have to deal with me singing a song about cutting in the middle of the loop, apparently. <laughs> All right, and this one is thick. I'm excited about it. I don't know if y'all remember how many times I wrapped. Lord, I didn't count. Thank goodness for that. How many times I wrapped around that, um, that my fingers. That was a lot of wrapping happening though. Quite a lot of wrapping. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. We're just cutting through our loops here. We made these loops around our fingers. I'm just one person, but I did make the loops around my fingers. I keep saying R. I'm used to Sam doing the same project as me, and he's working on a different project. He is working on his pumpkin for the pumpkin decorating contest. Okay, so now it looks like I got all the loops, and you can see my little pom-pom friend, and he is, did I get them all? I did get them all. He's kind of wiggly, kind of shake him up, get him all look at that he's awesome okay so that's what he looks like on the side you could trim it up to make it a little more even if you wanted to but um i would say it's unnecessary to do that uh i would end up making him really small if i did that and this is my red one that i that i made so it's almost like I have Christmas pom-poms here. So we've got a tiny, a tiny red one and then a bigger green one. And now we get to turn this pom-pom into a monster. So I'm gonna cut off this extra from where I tied the things around. So now he has, um, he's not got those two extra pieces. And I'm going to take a pipe cleaner so I have my pipe cleaner and I'm going to turn the pipe cleaner into shoes for him. Really, I'm going to turn the pipe cleaner into um, legs. So this one pipe cleaner is really long for such a small little creature. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it back and forth a couple times, just going back and forth. Sam, I think you need to do black last, bud, because black is a finishing color. You want to do your details last, going back and forth. And Sam is working, in case you missed that, Sam is working on his um, pumpkin for the pumpkin decorating contest. So, uh, and that's at the library. So I'm now going to clip it. And since I, I, moved it back and forth a bunch of times, it was loose enough to be clipped by the scissors without damaging the scissors, which is why we did that. So now I've got my legs and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the middle and I'm gonna poke my pine cleaner through the middle. It takes a little bit of work to get it in there. Well, he's just bending. <laughs> I made that really tight apparently, which is good. That's what I was supposed to do. But I might need to loosen it just a little bit. Uh -huh, you said but. Sam. Okay. All right. So now I've got that in there. Fantastic. Okay. So now our, our little pom-pom man or lady. Our little pom-pom friend 
has legs. And I am just going to. You can to, make it whichever one you I know. Want. I make it whichever one I want. And they can make it whichever one they want. Ow. I'm just twisting mm. the pipe cleaner around itself to sort of give it a little bit more um, stability. And so now I have to make my legs. Ooh. And I want my legs to be more like shoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop here. Oh, I'm finished. Wow. That's all it shows. Yeah, but you're going to get paint on the um, book, buddy. Please be careful. Okay, so I made a little shoe for it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this leg, but somehow this side got a lot longer. So I'm going to loop it around. Ah, it poked me. Do be careful with your pipe cleaners. They are very pokey. Okay, so now I have two little legs. You can see them. I just wrapped the pipe cleaner around. All right, so now my little man has two little legs. And he needs, oh, and he's falling over. It's okay. He doesn't really need to stand on his legs, but he definitely needs eyeballs. So thankfully, I have a container here with some eyeballs in it. So I think I've got four here. I don't know how many eyeballs this friend is going to need. Let's see. So I've got green pom poms and black legs and I keep thinking I see loops but I don't <laughs> okay so our pom-pom friend needs some eyeballs so I have my glue gun here if you're going to use a glue gun please 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 be careful and um, have an adult or a friend help you because you don't want to um don't want to hurt yourself on your glue gun. Um, yep. And don't leave your glue gun plugged in. I don't know if y'all can see this. My glue gun is burnt up because somebody left my glue gun plugged in. She did it. It was not me. Uh, see? And now it's letting out some yucky looking glue. Oh, no. Yeah. It doesn't matter because it's going on the bottom of something, right? It's a bit, it's a bit cool. This glue. at least it's well, working. It's very um, it is working. <laughs> Thank goodness it didn't get broken. Yeah, he even already leaves my glue gun on it, and I dropped my eyeball. Are these adorable? Okay. Oop. Oh, look how cute it is with just this one little eye. Very nice little friend. I like your eyeball. All right, how many do we do, what Sam? Do we need two or three? Well, it definitely needs at least two. Four. You think four? Yeah. Okay, I'm finished. Was, whoa. Trying to, wow. That's basically all that you want to show you looks like. Ah, look how cute. <laughs> look at that little little monster friend okay and now we do a third eyeball again be very careful with this glue gun i just keep gluing myself because i'm not um glue guns are hard ah! <laughs> look i just got glue all over oh my gosh it's perfect i love it like this i love the three eyeball monster friend okay and now so I've got, my monster friend has legs. I am gonna trim this up just a little bit because you can't see its legs. So there we go. Trim it up, <laughs> get it. I love it. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of felt. Let's find a new spot. A little bit of felt. So I've got some old, felt that we've used for other projects. Should I do orange or blue or pink? Um, hmm, I've got this dark blue. 
I'm going to do this dark blue. You know, see all this dog hair on here? It's the joys of having a dog friend that lives with you. Okay, so what kind of a what kind of a thing do I want to make? Okay, I want to make some horns. So horns are going to be kind of hard, but I'm going to just go ahead and cut this piece off right here. Oh goodness, what's happening? Let's stop. You're cleaning it off. You're not happy with it. So Sam is while I'm making this googly eye monster right here. Mm -hmm. Sam is working on. Um, a pumpkin for our pumpkin decorating contest. And I'm going to make you horns. You've said that three times. I've said it lots of times because people aren't necessarily watching the whole entire thing. Okay, well, that's a good looking horn. I like that. It's going to go on this side. All right, again, if you are using a um, glue gun, please be very careful so you don't burn yourself. So there's my number one horn. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm so excited about it. What do you think, though? Is it looking all right? Look at that horn. I'm never going to make a horn that matches that horn, and that's going <sighs> to. That's just how it is, I guess. Okay. So this horn goes this way. So the other horn needs to go the opposite direction. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was not a great situation here. All right, it's close enough, right? It's close enough for, for snuff, as they say. Well, well, it's a skinny horn. This is a skinny horn. You know, I don't know if you know this, but um, sometimes people's ears are bigger or um, one of their hands or feet is a little bit bigger than the other. So for our monster, one of his horns is a little bit bigger than the other. Well, that's all right, right? Okay, so now, our monster friend needs a mouth, and thankfully, I have some pink felt. I was going to say purple, but pink makes a lot more sense for a mouth, I think. What do you think? I'm just going to take this. So does red. Red? I like pink. Oh, no. Instead of a mouth, I think I'm just going to make it into a nose for him. <gasps> I, I love him. I get so excited. <laughs> I love him. This nice. It's very good. Well, it's going to end up in his mouth, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I'm just trimming away the felt to make it look how I want it to look. All right. And see, if you have like a Sharpie or something, you can, oh, look at that. That's perfect. You can always um, put a little bit of Sharpie on there. And again, if you're gluing with hot glue, please be very careful. Have an adult help you so that the adult can be the one who burns themselves accidentally, right? That's what adults are for. Burning themselves. <laughs> Helping with projects. So burning children don't get hurt. It's not burning themselves. Burning themselves. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so what else do I need, Sammy? He's got legs. He's got a mouth. Here's his little legs. I feel like his legs are not exciting enough because they're hard to see because they're black. So maybe I put some little like yellow shoes on him. The yellow shoes on top of his black shoes. All right. So I'm taking my, these are called pipe cleaners. Sometimes people call them shin yes, sticks. Yes. They're feeling yes, very. Yes. Don't you need some blue? Yeah. Because you got all that blue out. You didn't use it. I'm gonna need to do that once they dry. Okay. I mean, I'm excited that you're finished. <laughs> they look amazing. Does everybody want to check in with Sam? Let's check in with Sam so he can. Well, they're still wet. Are you gonna be very careful? Yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, so Sam, um, can you show everybody? Oh, I love it so much. So he made for his um, pumpkin, for the pumpkin decorating contest. Sam did, who is that? Cat kid. Cat kid. And I'll, I can do it. You're, I can oh, do it. Yeah, nose you're is getting actually. it wet. Dog man. No, the bark knight. Ah, the bark knight. Cat kid and the bark knight, obviously. Yeah. So Not little pee here's and bark dog knight man. again. Bark Knight. <laughs> and Bark Knight and Cat Kid. Cat Not kid. Little PD and Dog Man, but Bark Knight and Cat Kid. Right. Little PD and Dog Man's um Don't tell super them. uh oh. Uh oh. That's Bark my mouth. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, so back to But everybody the, knows the secret. <laughs> it's a it's a known secret, as they say. <laughs> So back to the pom-pom monster here. And we've got on our pom-pom monster, some horns, some googly eyes. And that is his nose mouth. I'm not sure if it's a nose or a mouth. And then some shoes. But what I said was, gosh, I don't think these shoes are exciting enough because they're really hard to see. You can barely see those little shoes there. So what we're going to do now. Uh -oh, be can careful. I show them my thing? I don't think that's, is that all the paint you're going to use? Because you got to have a lot of paint and didn't use it. Yeah, I'm going to use those two. Okay, so I bent and bent and bent my pipe cleaner and I'm cutting, cutting, cutting pipe cleaner. Daddy? Okay, so now I have to do it again because Don't I want my, um, again. what? You can't sing that, it's copyright. No. Don't sing it. <laughs> Uh, so now I'm bending it in half because I need two shoes. Not you a, sang a it. Single shoe. You sang it. Sam, I didn't. Oh. That was you. That was you singing. What's copyright mean? Um, that means that somebody owns the rights to something and you can't use it because you're not the one that owns the rights to it. All right, so now shoe number one. Oh, what kind of shoe do I want this to be? I think I'm going to try to make it like a, like a fancy shoe. I was actually going to make it into a flip flop, maybe. <laughs> That's sort of what it's looking like. Ah, don't put your feet on me. It's okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that looks pretty fly for a pom pom guy. <laughs> I love that. Okay, y'all, I'm having too much fun making my pom pom monster. Um, or pom pom creature, if you will. It's, it's whatever you want it to be, whatever you want to call it. All right, so we've got shoes on our pom pom monster. We've got a mouth, we've got horns, we've got eyeballs. Is there anything else that we need to add to our pom-pom monster? <laughs> so one thing that you can do if you would rather your pom-pom monster be fluffy. Sam, will you go get me my fluffy tree, the yellow one, is you can take apart the, the strands is of the yarn. Yes. It's in my, and this will make your monster so fluffy. In my pencil thing, you know what I'm talking about. So you can also, I have a different kind of yarn. You can use a thicker kind of yarn like this, and that will make your pom-pom a little, so this is just like your standard yarn, right? That you would see anywhere. <laughs> And then this is a more soft yarn. And so if you used this one, when you made your pom-pom, it would be a little bit fluffier. So I don't know if you can see this. Can you see this right here? So that also makes it like a curly 
monster, which is pretty exciting, I think. Sam, are you getting it? There's a creature in my house and it's not a pom-pom creature. It's a boy creature. It's in the pencil thing, honey. Just bring me either the pink one or the yellow one. Okay, see, with that one. And then I, if you do the yarn, if you separate the yarn, it'll usually separate into about four pieces. And can you see how much fluffier that is? So I hope y'all are having a good week. It's only Monday. I'm I'm excited about this pumpkin decorating contest. I think it's going to be great. Did you bring it? No, Sam, the yarn one. There's a pink one and a yellow one. Did you really not see them? Go back. We'll try again. Yarn? Yes. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like, I'm probably just going to do this all night long. Look how beautiful this is, where it's come apart and it's all curly. I love that and probably am going to just do this for like it does take a really long time to do this so you could do it while you're like sitting outside listening to an audiobook and enjoying the beautiful landscape yeah, around you that. ah okay so this is what it will look like when it's totally done. This was a really, really thick yarn that I had. And you can see down here. Oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry. y'all. Let's not push in chairs on each other. <laughs> so then it was totally twined accident. together. And then you can see that I separated it. So it made this really fluffy, and this is actually a truffula tree, like from the Lorax. Very fluffy. There you go, dear. So you can make pom-pom monsters. You can make truffula trees this way. You can make all sorts of things. You can um, make like a pom-pom to put on your bike if you wanted to. There are oh, so many options. Sam actually has done that before. Um, you can make like a little friend to keep, if you have a desk, if you have a desk at your house that you sit at sometimes to do work, maybe your homework or draw pictures or something, you could make one for there just to hang out. Look how beautiful this is, y'all. I am loving this. You can also use yarn and separate it like this if you ever needed to make like doll hair or if you were doing a pumpkin decorating contest and you needed to do curly hair for a character, you could, you could do that That's that way. My <laughs> well friends I think that's it for today uh Sam do you have anything to add yeah Hi. <laughs> okay Sam wanted to show you his tortoise I guess <laughs> goodbye everybody thanks for watching you gonna say goodbye? <laughs> oh, hold on. Can you come over here real quick and show your pumpkin? So this is Sam's dog man. Nope, Bark Knight pumpkin. And this is Sam's cat kid pumpkin. Cat kid. All right, that's it. Thanks y'all. And again, say goodbye. Oh. Bye, Pom Pom Man. He's so strange looking. I love it. I don't know if you, I'm just going to show you the feet really quick because I don't think I showed them in like all their glory. Look at his little flip flops. It's hard to see because his body's so fluffy. 
and little flip flops. There's his little face. And he says, Goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh, also, if you have some pony beads, they would be great to put on the, um, and I do have some, but I think this guy's perfect the way he is. So, bye y'all. See you next time. Bye -bye. Next time it's um, make something for your dog day or something like that. So we're doing uh, dog treats. We're going to make dog treats. So that's exciting. Bye.